How you doing? Um, I'm up at my land and uh, I said I was going to do a video. We're up here this weekend installing the solar panels and getting our power set up, which we have done. Um, I want Doug to, this is my cousin's running a video for me, I wanted to zoom around here a little bit to get an idea. We're pretty isolated up here. We're 1.2 miles from the main road and it's all woods up here. And Doug, kick around here so we can get a shot of the shabbing. And uh, this is the shabbin, and me standing in front of it gives you kind of an idea how high it is. The front side is uh, 12 foot high, on the back it's uh, 6 foot high, um, so it angles down. It's a 12 by 24, and if you would zoom up and show up on top, we have 6 15 watt solar panels on top, okay? And so we have a 90 watt system all together. Now we're going to go inside here real quick. the first to say this is still pretty rugged. Um, we just got our solar stuff all wired up today so I'm going to kick on the lights and show you the lights. And on. There's the lights working. Come over here, here's our inverter. We've got 12.2 DC here running coming off the solar panels. The wiring is in coming out of the up on top the solar panels into our junction box that we have here which goes into um, our charge controller the charge controller goes back out into the battery bank which we're going to go outside and show you from the battery bank we come back inside to the inverter I'm going to go ahead and turn that off the inverter I have a 15,000 watt with a 3,000 uh, surge which is way more than I need so I can expand as much as I want up here and have that to use we have our wiring set up, so it's actually, here I'll show you, it's a, just a plug-in. We plug into the inverter, so this way, if I have a uh, generator also, I can just plug in to the generator from that there. So uh, we can use either the solar or the generator, and eventually I'm also going to get a wind turbine. Now in the back here, where we're heading now, and don't mind our wood pile because we've been cutting wood, this is where we're going to keep this, uh, the batteries. And if you look on the side here, you can see that it's vented. You got it just set up here, and it has the capacity for 18 batteries to be in here. Obviously, right now we have two batteries, which are they're the Marine Deep Cycle batteries, okay? Um, and they have, uh, you know, th th it's going to hold a good charge for us right now. But we have this out back so that it's all set up and it's not inside, it's vented, and then that way we can have our battery set up, but uh, the battery, the wires are coming from up on top here, down in, from inside they come back out here, go into our box, get charged with the batteries, the batteries then go back inside, get hooked up so they can convert the power from uh, DC to AC, okay? and. Uh, so that's what we've been working on this weekend, and if he, he, he'll pan around here and show you all this wood we've been working on. I started in the fall, and we had a lot of trees down, and we're working on wood as well uh, to get that done. But uh, let me take this here a second, Doug. Now, here's the back of the cabin. You can well, We call it the shabin because it's not a shed and it's not a cabin. I'm going to show you the back from here of the solar panels. Let me zoom in so you can see that. That's not zooming. Okay, so, but that's the back of the solar panels. Everything's wired together, comes down in and does that. Um, I have 10 acres up here, and again, it's pretty isolated, which is fantastic. As you can see, I'm going to pan around here, and you're not going to see anybody else close. <laughs> okay, and uh, so. And then you're going to go down here, and I'm going to show you our outhouse that we have. And down here is our outhouse that we built. So this is what we have for the outhouse. Again, as you can see, we are pretty much isolated in the woods. And uh, I'll tell you, I honestly love it. Uh, the Shabin is, uh, like I said, it's pretty good size. It's 12 by 24 right now. 
We're still working on it, obviously. Going to put a couple more windows in the front here. I'm going to have a wood stove put in. We're going to put in half-inch plywood on the inside after we insulate it. But uh, this is uh, this is my project for uh, if uh, the shit hits the fan type of scenario. I have some place that I can go. I can take my family. I can keep them safe. I have my own power source, so I'm not relying on anybody else. And it's, and I can add up to 18 batteries in the back. In the back, I have two right now, and I will continue to add on more as we go. I also plan on adding on a 400-watt uh, uh, wind turbine up here as well. That'll be added on. But for right now, we got a 90-watt system of solar panels. Uh, I purchased them at Harbor Freight, and uh, normally they're $250 for uh, the starter kit. And I ended up buying two kits. They had them on sale. Um, I ended up picking them up for $159.99 plus tax. So it was ended up being about $172 each. Not a huge system, obviously, but it's a nice start. I have my own power. I turn my lights on, and it's mine. And no, I don't, no, don't owe anybody anything. So uh, that's my system, and uh, that's the video for today. Thank you very much.